Alright you guys, welcome back. <clears throat> My voice is actually being a lot a lot clearer today, so I'm, ha I'm happy about that. Uh, big, big, big things we got for the hatch coming tomorrow. We definitely have some things that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do to it, get it, get it driving a little safer. But <clears throat> getting it driving a little safer. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be a late weekend. I'm, I'm getting out of work at 12 o'clock, so a half day for me. So that's rad. <laughs> but when I get off work, um, the first, the first thing I have to do is I have to run out to Ocala, go ahead and get my car aligned. A place called an Ocala. Uh, Parker service tire, I think it is. We're gonna go ahead and go there, get my car aligned, and then after that, I'm going to get another phone. I found a guy who has, who has an uh, who has an iPhone, and ever since I got ever since my iPhone broke a while back, I've been going through Androids for at least two years, and I'm at the point to where I just want to go back to iPhone. There's a lot of people that hate iPhones. There's a lot of people that hate Androids and stuff like that. But other than that, it's all based on your opinion, what you think about it. But since my first smartphone was an iPhone, I got so used to it. I just, I just like iPhones. There's some things you can't do on iPhones, but I prefer, I prefer iPhones. I like this one. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is completely cracked the heck up. Completely cracked. Man, I hate, I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't deal with cracks. Cracks are my major OCD. I do not like cracks. <laughs> starting to be a lot better because in my last vlog later on in the in my previous vlog my voice is getting bad I literally had to had to try to speak it's like my I literally had to forcefully push the words out to actually talk my voice is not a hundred percent back but I can actually speak clear without having any issues so that is definitely what's up getting off topic let's get back in to what tomorrow's agenda is gonna be after the alignment and I get my iPhone finally, another iPhone, so happy about it. <laughs> killer deal, killer price, I love it. But other than that, after the alignment, even though I'm doing circles while I'm, while I'm vlogging, I don't know why, <laughs> I'm just kind of doing like this. Sorry, I have ADHD, so my mind always kind of like jumps to something else. But other than that, <laughs> sorry. But after I get my car aligned after work and I get the iPhone set it up, <clears throat> Um, after that, we are going to either advance or auto parts because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get new brakes because my brakes, my brake pads on my car are starting to get a little worn out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those there. Or, uh, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> but actually go ahead and replace those there and uh, be a lot better drive, be a lot better safing. I can't even speak right now. I can't even say words and I'm still vlogging this, but I don't do a whole lot of edits. So we're going to keep this going. Corey, you're vlogging right now. Why are you why are you mixing your words up? You're making yourself look stupid in these vlogs. <laughs> I hope this alignment comes out good. I mean like I'm getting stupid out early for work because normally I don't get home till about <coughs> till about six at night. And I get there at six AM. So I'm basically doing like 12, 13 hours a day, so I, re I really hope this alignment comes out good because I'm going through tires on the front. And then even though the rear is cambered, the front of the car isn't, but the front of the car is where the tires are losing tread. The rear is cambered, but it's not losing any tread. Fuck logic. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go get some dinner. I will see you guys tomorrow in about one second. All right, guys, so now I'm off work, and now we're at the Parker's tire service to go ahead and get my alignment done so I can go ahead and get that straightened out so I'm not like slowly like weaving off the side of the road you know what I mean while people stare at me while I'm vlogging thinking that I'm freaking crazy but other than that gonna go ahead and get this alignment done it'll it'll drive straight so really hope they do a good job on it really hope they take care of Casper that's the name of the car if you, if you guys didn't know that but other than that let's go ahead and get this done and I am starving I feel like tacos I've actually never been to this spot, but it's at, but it's actually pretty uh, it's actually pretty windy out here. Definitely definitely on the highway. And actually, one of my friends Brent works here. But <laughs> other other than that, hopefully we can hopefully we can get Casper driving straight. They said it's gonna be hard because the camera. And I was like, well, the rear's cambered, not the front. <laughs> and he was like, well, it's just the toe. And then I'm like, well, toe's probably the only issue that needs to be fixed. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. And then plus, probably someone else that I really really don't trust other people driving my car. It's so sketchy. You're just seeing your car drive away and you're not the one driving it. <laughs> so sketch. The car was way too low to even put it on the jack. Or to even put it on there, but Scotty's here though. What up? What up? We finally found a place we found uh, A1 suspension where they do where they do all that type of stuff. So we definitely got Casper in there getting that getting that stuff done. And that sick Jeep boy. Finally found a spot. Even though they were saying that my 
my CV axle bad. And so we went ahead, I went ahead and got the alignment done, but because my car is still tilting to the left, they were saying that it was because um, my driver tire was on backwards and I already have a lot of tread loss, so that might be the reason why it's pulling and I shouldn't really be driving stick and vlogging at the same time. Very sketchy, very sketch. Always stay sketchy. <laughs> but other than that, and I went ahead and got the iPhone, so I'm happy about that. <clears throat> Went ahead and got to the, I mean, like, the dude was so nice. He was, like, professionally dressed, hair slicked back, and he, he gave me, like, a business card and everything, so he was definitely a legit seller. He wasn't some, like, prick looking like he's been on crack for two weeks, or two months, I should say. <laughs> but other than that, I also got the new brake pads, so I'm going to slap those on later today. Get, just start getting Casper driving a little more safer. But other than that, we're about to get to Scotty's house now. So... I guess I'll see you whenever I pick up the camera again, which is not going to be very long. <laughs> the one thing we are doing first is we are going to max vape because I really need to get some juice. I really need to get some juice. My batteries are dead, so i got to put those on the charger once I get to Scotty's house, and then I have to wait. But I know I'll have a full tank, a full tank of juice. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to vape in a few days. That has been absolutely horrible. It's been crazy. So crazy. All right, guys, so what is the next day? <laughs> what is going on? It is very, very, very cold outside. <laughs> uh, we finally put the brake pads on yesterday, so the hatch is much more safer to drive. <clears throat> um, probably, probably today's agenda is probably going to be, gonna go ahead and get my, get my exhaust taken care of, because that's like the first thing I scrape on the road. I'm starting to scrape it a lot more because they give you this like stupid hexagon looking bracket on your exhaust on the on the 95 Civics. Either that or if it's on the coupes or the hatch that they do that stupid little bracket thing too. I'm not really sure, but I know it's on mine. So I'm gonna go to Modern Muffler, then I'm gonna have one have one of my boys Collins take that off and re-weld it so I don't have that stupid bracket there. So fix that issue because that's the first thing I scrape on the road every single time. For yesterday I didn't do a whole lot of vlogging. I'm not, I'm not really sure why, but we didn't, we didn't really do much. We were kind of just at the house most of the day yesterday. <clears throat> but other than that, I'm definitely going to be doing more vlogging today, I promise. And I feel bad because yesterday on Facebook, I, 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 told, I told you guys I would, I, would keep, I would keep it a promise. I would, have, I would have a vlog up by yesterday, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure what happened, so sorry. <laughs> right, so now I'm at the muffler shop. Really, really hope I can, I can get this situation done because I went ahead and checked under the car and the exhaust with that little hexagon piece. That's the only one that is actually like scraping the heck out. <laughs> so, our, and I already looked at the tranny, or the tranny, the rest of the undercarriage, that little exhaust piece is the only thing that is the lowest part. And I can tell because one day it actually dropped all the way and I, we basically had to, had to kind of like rig it a little bit just so it'll actually stay up and not scrape everywhere because it actually came down one day and I scraped the whole way back to the house. I wasn't far, I was only like two streets away to test it out and then just like right when I hit it, it just started just dragging all the way down putting like nice little like scratch marks all the way through the pavement all the way back to his house. It was riding. <laughs> it was crazy. But now after the day we were going to be done with the rigging. I got the alignment, I got two new tires, so now the car should be driving like a boss right now, straight with having no sway or any play in it. And other than that, once we go ahead and get this muffler situation out of the way, get that little hexagon piece out of there, I'll actually be able to drop the front of the car more so I'll be able to match the fitment in the rear. Because right now it's giving me so much OCD not seeing it level. I don't like it. Got the car up. Got Collins out here helping me with the Out here at Modern Muffler getting shit done. Here you get that exhaust going on. Definitely gonna fix this issue. This issue is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> like get it, get it, get it like as low as low as it used to be. Yeah. yeah what I do is cut it there, cut around there. See. Yeah, that that that'll, that'll, that'll definitely help out majorly because I'm I'm scraping that part yeah, all the time. Part right there. That's that's literally the biggest one because like all the other spots are fine. I fit some reflectors, obviously. The oil pan is about next. <laughs> the oil pan is right there. The oil pan is so bad. I need to get that fixed immediately. Yeah, but yeah, you hang out for a little bit. Huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate it. All right, so now I got the phone, got the alignment, got two new tires. 
then now we got Casper up here getting some work done on the exhaust while not scraping everywhere so I can actually lower it again. <laughs> so we're all right, so I'm, I'm back at Family Tire. We went ahead and got the other tire on. I went ahead and put a, uh, and I went ahead and put my worn out tire, which still has tread on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my Steely, so just in case anything happens on the road, I can still fit a Steely. And then we were going, we were getting ready to go to the second tire. I was originally just gonna flip it. Actually, no, I'm, I'm still gonna flip it. But my God, look at this. Oh my gosh. Eating it up. This, this tread's still good though. But just eating that inside tread up so bad. But the good thing about is that whenever it's cambered or if wheels tilt it in or something like that, you can always flip the tire over because that, that other side of the tire is not gonna be touching the road. So that is the, that is the good part here. That is the key. <laughs> All right, so I got the alignment on there straight. So, so the alignment's perfect. Got two new tires up front. Got the exhaust situation. I don't have that stupid bracket donut piece on the exhaust. He got, he got it level with the oil paint and the subframe. Doesn't, doesn't scrape every single second, so it's definitely dope. Now I can finally lower the, lower the front to match the rear fitment in the back, back to the way it looks, because this is what it looks like right now. Monster trucking. This is what it's supposed to be. That is how it is supposed to be getting there right now. One, one, one step ahead of the game, getting stuff done. So stoked. Doesn't scrape, every, doesn't scrape anywhere.